We've heard that hope floats, but what about cardboard? Two unique events just played out on the river in East Windsor. And besides the cardboard, another event involved rubber ducks. And as Channel 3's Nicole Nalepa explains, it was all for two good causes in the community. Here's today's Bright Spot. Some will sink and others will float. That's the fun of a cardboard boat. And that fun could be seen in action on the Scantic River in Broadbrook just a few days ago. A welcome sight after the past year we've had. The American Heritage River Commission hosted the ninth annual cardboard boat race in which young paddlers tried to navigate the water with their homemade boat. Only a handful of materials are approved in the construction of it. Cardboard, duct tape, a piece of lumber, glue, and smooth rivet fasteners. That's it. And the $10 entry fee goes directly to the Five Corners Covered Food Pantry. Volunteers from AHRC cleared the river to make way for the boaters the day before, pulling out all sorts of debris and trash, from trees to tires. But it wasn't just cardboard boats on the river that Sunday. Another unlikely sight made a comeback, yellow rubber duckies. This was all part of the BMX State Park Committee's 11th annual rubber duck race, which took place an hour before. Kids of all ages came out to adopt a duck and then cheered their quacker down the river. Talk about good old fashioned fun, right? And these two events not only drew cheering crowds of families, but it brought in food to feed those struggling in the community and money to keep the kids' wheels turning at the local skate park. With today's Bright Spot, I'm Nicole Nalepa.